Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay. Everybody, this is DGK, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about are we missing stat bonuses? Okay, so what do I mean by that? This is something that I think almost all of us have seen but never really put too much attention into. And maybe we should be because there are some really good bonuses here that we are missing probably if we are having trouble overcoming a team or a stage or maybe something like that. So we're just going to put this on super easy, just on auto. I've set these teams up in a really weird order just so I can show the point of what we could be missing. So... And keep in mind, bear with me here, I am going to try to find out if these are all listed somewhere so I can uh, I can put that information up for you guys. So right here, we're in the advanced arena. If we click up here on this little icon over here that I'm circling around. Okay, so we have two faction bonds from the Dragon Tribe. So they can increase self-crit rate by 2.5% up to five layers at the start of the turn. So they can increase up to 4% at the start of the turn. I'm going to assume that's if you have four of them. Well, no, that would be all five, because you need two, three, four, five, sorry. Okay, so you have all five. So we're getting that stat bonus there. Just get through this guy, and then we're going to go on to the next one here, and we're going to have a little bit different. Uh, this one has three. Yep, so now we're going to go to 3%. I didn't mean to. Sorry about that. I put all the dragon faction in there for some reason. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now we'll go down here, and we should have two different ones. Okay, now here we have the... Uh, Wizard's Eye, self gains 6% effect more hit. Now this does not just say, here's the plate, heroes from this faction receive a following bonus. The self gains 6%, both of these two gain 6% more effect hit just from two. If I put five in it, 15% more effect hit. So, I mean, that's pretty, oh, no, oh, hold on, oh, we didn't kill him yet. Okay, so now here we also have one from the Sunset Stages. These guys will get a 50% chance to gain up to 24% more leech when attacking. Now, as we're looking at that, those can be huge. 20, what, what do we, we can get up to 15% more effect hit just from that. So, let's go out of here and let's go see if this will apply. Uh, what were we looking at there? Sunset? No, um, we'll go check that out. Let's go see if that will apply in maybe just a stage... A stage run so if we're having a lot of hard time putting up something against a boss uh, okay and let's go in here in the gallery let's find out so we can do this pretty easily which one was I looking at that had that effect oh, I forgot what it was called that's dragon tribe sunset station the forgotten force the wizard's eye let's see if we got uh, so if we throw in okay that should be a pretty decent team we could put five in there just to see if we can get that effect for whoop, nope wrong I didn't want to do a dungeon here I want to try like the world map we are going to lose on this stage building it like that, but let's just give it a shot. See where we're at here. Okay, so we need the wizard's eye. We got... I wish they would let us. They're not letting them sort by faction here just yet, but you could do a preset lineup, I suppose, and search just for that way. So, and what all did we have here for the wizard's eye? I know we had this dude. We had him. We got four in there. I can't remember what the other one was that I had. I think it's this one. So let's see. If we go in here now and it's the... Oh, yeah. So it is coming up right here, too. Okay. So are we missing these really big faction bonuses? They do not come up in the faction war that I looked at here. Yep. So we, oh, we got one wrong in here. Um, oh, there's from... Yeah, that's right. Okay. 12% more... Okay. So that does work. Okay, so as we're building, it's also going to come up here, I just noticed. So we should be able to check. As we're going down in this stage here, it should bring up that same team. You can go up here. We can get that. Oh, that's my tier. So we can look up here. We can see what more we get. So if we take some people out and we put two in together that go to the same uh, faction or tribe, it'll give you those stat increases up there. I think she was another one. No. Anyways, it'll give you those stat creases up top. This does not work, though. I'm telling you, I tried this the other day. It does not work in the dungeon for the Tower of Mark. You do not get those same bonuses. I wish you would. So if you are looking to clear something or something's becoming a little more difficult to you, go ahead and check out if you are getting stat bonuses that you want. Uh, you can get a lot out of that just by putting the same... Uh, factions together like that that faction bonus set seems to be super cool i really admit that i haven't used it as much as i could 
And now that I see it there, I'm definitely going to try to take advantage of it in certain situations throughout the game. Um, and let's check in where I'm at on day two here. For our events, we were talking about the Nijia. I am, after two 99 runs, 18.4%. I have completed the event. This is good enough for me. I will get four here. If I just stay here, I'm going to run this one more time tomorrow. We should stay in the top 20. I'm going to get another one here. So we're going to get five just out of that. And I've completed all the event points thus far. So I got the extra five right there. We're cruising on along. So anyways, hey, hopefully that helps you guys out. And we're not missing any more bonus stats like that. And if you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.